All right, calls of the day. Josh, we start with you because Uber has been called the best idea into earnings for this year at J.P. Morgan. Price target 95 bucks, overweights the rating, has a strong three-year outlook. And, I mean, the, the outlook in the last year has been ridiculous, too. I mean, stock's up 100, more than 130 percent over, over one year, and they have earnings coming up in a few weeks. Yeah, well, this is the fourth best stock of all of last year, like literally. After NVIDIA, I think Constellation Brands is in that, in that list, and one other, it was only Uber. Uh, look, I, I think that this is a $100 stock. I've been relentlessly pounding my fist on the table since it was in the 20s that I believe that. It's one of the last of the major platforms uh, that, that exist, the major TAMs in this world to really have a king get crowned. And uh, transportation of goods and people and freight is Uber's uh, wheelhouse. They basically own it, and I think that's gonna continue. What's interesting that the analyst said, which we don't talk about a lot, there's now a $7 billion buyback plan running through 2026, which should help uh, increase earnings, and that number can probably go higher. In addition, they are now much more focused on absolute uh, profit dollar growth versus uh, incremental margins. So it's a shift in focus that Dara uh, is overseeing, and I think it's going to work for shareholders long term. So okay. I'm a shareholder. I'm not a trader here, and I like the stock. Okay. G. Ivernova, I mentioned initiated by Steph at Goldman today. 154 is the price target. There's a stock at 130. You've been buying more, bought more last week. Yeah. You say almost every day. Yeah, it's been a crazy stock. I mean, it came out of the chute and it was fell 14%. So I, I uh, initiated a bigger position when it fell 14%, and then rallied 12, and now it's down six. So I'm just taking advantage of spins that are a little volatile in the beginning for obvious reasons. I like the wind power electrification theme very much. They have a 30% install base to world electricity. I think margins have upside, free cash flow has upside, services has upside to the overall mix. So I like this for the long term at 11 times EBITDA. Jim. General Motors top pick Deutsche Bank hold is the call though price target to 50 from 44 uh, and they think that uh, GM is going to raise guidance when they report next week I think that's a reasonable conclusion it's not a slam dunk but it's reasonable based on what we're seeing about car buying volumes where prices are what they're doing with cost control I think the real lever here and this is not usually what you're going to hear me say is what is the share count when they report earnings because they did a buyback an accelerated share buyback that was worth something between 20 and 25 percent of the company's outstanding shares so they you know some people will say that's financial engineering I will say a company that's got good cash flows is going to concentrate my earnings power by buying back shares. That's what I'm actually really looking for when the report comes out. All right.